When your thoughts loop endlessly, obsessing over past conversations or bracing for future disasters, it's not just in your head. It's your nervous system asking for a reset. Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster. Today, we're talking about how physical movement can help you calm your mind, sharpen your focus, and break the cycle of overthinking and anxiety. And I'm Alara Sky. Many people deal with mental loops that won't stop. These loops wear down your emotional resilience, hijack your attention, and can lead to long-term mental exhaustion. But researchers are finding that movement might be one of the simplest ways to interrupt those patterns. A systematic review in PLOS1 looked at how physical activity affects repetitive negative thinking. It covered 19 studies with over a thousand participants ranging from teenagers to older adults. A key finding? Movement reliably reduces worry and mental rumination, especially for people under stress or living with depression. Longer and more intense activity had the strongest results. Specifically, 30 to 60 minutes of moderate to high-intensity movement, done three to five times a week, created the most change. One-time or very short sessions didn't have the same effect. And in some people, they actually made symptoms worse. The review also found that combining cardio with resistance training was even more effective. Adding mindfulness-based elements like yoga or MAP training made the results even stronger, especially for people experiencing chronic stress or diagnosed mood disorders. Mindful movement is particularly powerful. Practices like yoga helped reduce stress-driven thinking. These forms of activity lower symptoms linked to what researchers call perseverative thinking, that endless mental loop that feels impossible to shut off. The science behind this is compelling. Exercise increases endorphins, the brain's natural mood elevators. These help reduce the emotional charge behind negative thoughts, breaking the cycle before it gains momentum. Regular movement also strengthens your stress system. People who exercise consistently have a more stable hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. That's your main stress response system. This lowers cortisol spikes and helps quiet intrusive thoughts. The review also noted that movement builds cognitive control. It strengthens your brain's executive function, which helps regulate emotion and redirect focus. Over time, this builds mental flexibility and rewires your brain away from anxiety loops. And voluntary participation matters. People who chose to move on their own, rather than being assigned to a study, experienced stronger mental benefits. This reinforces that internal motivation plays a big role in mental health gains. The Mayo Clinic has also weighed in. Their guide emphasizes that movement interrupts the cycle of negative thoughts. Even a 10-minute walk can redirect your mind and create a shift in your emotional state. When you achieve small movement goals, you build confidence. The sense of mastery that comes from consistent activity helps restore self-esteem. That progress becomes a key part of long-term emotional recovery. What matters most isn't intensity, it's consistency. According to Mayo Clinic, Being active for just 10 to 15 minutes at a time, spread throughout your day, can offer measurable mental health benefits. It also helps you shift away from passive coping strategies. Instead of reaching for distractions like food, alcohol, or scrolling, movement gives your brain and body a chance to release tension in a healthier way. Helpguide.org goes further, explaining how exercise rewires your brain. Movement boosts dopamine and norepinephrine, two chemicals that improve energy, focus, and emotional stability. It also stimulates brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which promotes growth of new brain cells. Chronic stress shrinks brain areas linked to memory and decision-making. Movement reverses that process. It promotes neuroplasticity, helping your brain adapt and respond more calmly to future stress. Harvard Health Publishing also explains that rhythmic aerobic exercise helps retrain your nervous system. When you move, you activate short bursts of stress hormones, followed by deep relaxation. Over time, that cycle teaches your body to recover faster from daily stress. And it doesn't have to be complicated. Walking, swimming, cycling, even dancing can create that rhythm. The key is to focus on your breath and movement. This meditative state pulls you out of racing thoughts and into the present. 
Consistent movement strengthens brain areas involved in emotional regulation. The more you move, the better your brain becomes at managing future triggers without overreacting. That's why the benefits of exercise aren't about a single session. They build slowly. But over time, those changes add up and reshape your emotional baseline. If you're feeling stuck in negative thinking, the fastest way to shift that pattern is to move your body. The cycle is biological, not just emotional, and movement helps bring your system back into balance. To help you apply this, here are five strategies. First, move with purpose three times a week. That could be walking, dancing, or cycling for 20 to 30 minutes. This alone helps lower cortisol and reduce mental loops. Second, try to move at the same time every day. Whether it's a morning walk or an evening stretch, that rhythm helps your nervous system expect calm at that hour. Third, use mindfulness during your movement. Focus on your breathing, your pace, or how your body feels. That shifts your attention away from anxious thoughts. Fourth, if you already have a routine, combine strength training with cardio. That pairing, like squats after a walk, delivers stronger results than either one alone. Fifth, make movement part of your daily rhythm. Walk during calls, stretch between tasks, and avoid long periods of sitting. Small bursts of activity help keep your brain alert. Your challenge this week, schedule three short sessions of purposeful movement, even just 15 minutes. Track how you feel before and after. Don't wait for motivation. Use movement as your reset. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.